The reason Thomas Lamar's move to Arsenal failed to go through before on transfer deadline day was that the elements of the puzzle failed to fall into place, according to Monaco's vice president. Arsene Wenger chased Lamar all summer and had several bids knocked back by the League One champions for the winger. But a £90 million deal almost went through right at the end of the window after Arsenal had accepted an offer from Manchester City for Alexis Sanchez, only for the Gunners to run out of time. That saw Lamar stay at Monaco and Sanchez remain at Arsenal, much to the frustration of the player and City officials, who thought they had landed the Chile international. Exactly why the Lamar transfer fell apart has never been revealed, with conflicting reports suggesting various reasons. Some say the player didn't want the move while others claim it was Arsenal who pulled the plug. Monaco's vice president Vadim Vasilyev has now had his say, and he admitted Wenger was close to getting the deal over the line. Liverpool were really interested, Vasilyev told Sky Sports News. But it was Arsenal that was really close to finalizing the deal. It was quite close. At the same time it was just too late, not enough time, to really follow up on this deal. Not all the elements of the puzzle fell in place. I'm very happy he stayed with us. For us, we need a player like Thomas Lamar. He's very important to our team. Vasilyev did then offer Arsenal hope of finally securing Lamar, by admitting that the France international would more than likely leave after the World Cup in Russia. Definitely next summer will be something to look at, although you know in football there are no guarantees, he said. We had some players who were supposed to leave this summer but didn't leave because of X, Y, Z. I think it would be fair to say Thomas will have a fair chance to an exit next year. January, in football, never say never, but this is not what we're thinking of, this is really not in our plans. Then we have to wait and see, how the team does, in different competitions, if we have an interest in him, and also his ambitions after the World Cup. January doesn't seem like the right time for major changes in the team. Would Thomas Lamar be a good signing? Let us know by leaving a comment below.